Oh, here I am in the Godzilla. <laughs> the only thing with this one, right, is I uh, can't really uh, move the uh, mouth of this Godzilla though. Because, um, <laughs> because it's got like, uh, I probably already said it before actually in the footage. But um, in the uh, elastic, there's like elastic neck where you put your head in, so the head has a whole different like chamber. Basically the head doesn't really inflate, um, but the body and tail and arms, well yeah the arms are enclosed, so you've got to use the claws of the gumption. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and my, this Godzilla, well, my Godzilla used to be a lot more better with the padding, but yeah, over time, because me unpacking it and repacking it, um, it has of course caused the uh, costume head to be a bit hard to display well now. It's got a bit creasy and, you know, <laughs> it's aged basically. <laughs> Maybe you might be better off, because uh, I think they're still um, making these brand new so you still got a chance to buy them uh, but yeah this is this costume is a bit old to me it's like I've had it for a couple of years and definitely worn it quite a lot there's two things I don't like about this costume right is the tongue blocks the view <laughs> so uh, don't really get really much <laughs> you know um, and of course the second is, well, you probably can't see it because I have to lower the camera because this costume is a bit too bulky and uh, I can't really put the camera any further than it is right now. <laughs> Which is, uh, you know, I've tried my best to angle it right. <laughs> but um, it's got like little cheap covers for the foot. Which again, I probably have already explained. I normally do this one in the detail section of me doing my costume. Oh yeah, got to do the uh, cheap pose, spin around. There we go. <laughs> I'll probably reuse old footage because this is this is the uh, by the way this is the costume review video which I got a bit too proud of and constantly discarded the footage and basically re-recorded it and now here I am re-recording it again but this will be the final re uh, version like I said I got plenty of other footage I could just mix that together I suppose uh, you could do you kind of do the belly <laughs> but only a bit um, in this costume you get quite a lot of uh, room in the back than the front <laughs> Because <laughs> when you put this on, the uh, body kind of shifts backwards, so you're not exactly centred with the body. So I have quite a lot of room for the back, but uh, not really for the front. <laughs> it's like, it's almost, I only have like a bit of room. Right, this is what it looks like inside. You know, room at the back bit, you know, the uh, back bit of the hole. Uh, because, the, because of course, the god, because yeah, this Godzilla uses like a arched um, leg um, design. So it's like, you know, it kind of bulges out a bit out and in around to give it like, you know, bigger like knee pads, you know, because it's a monster and such. So, it, you know, it tries to make it a bit more monstery look rather than skinny legs, you know. Um, so, uh, yeah, you do you do tend to have your um, your thing like that. It almost does feel like you can sit down on it. Actually, you a little bit can, but if you hold <laughs> you have to hold the costume up. But um, yeah, it does feel a bit a little bit more tight. You you 
you really can like run and uh, move your leg upwards because you have huge room um, but yeah walking backwards you have to do like almost tiny steps um, because yeah you're already stretching it near uh, near the side um, you're already stretching it near the side anyways and then what I'm holding is basically I'm gonna have to um, the, the camera may be a bit bad here because you might not be able to see well <laughs> but like I said this is all good uh, there we go almost this is a bit hard actually no hold on idea I'm gonna put my head and my my arm through uh, this this little bit doesn't work <laughs> got my arm near my neck okay this is maybe the best I'm gonna get it it is very hard to film in here in this section which is the head bit um, so yeah you just see through the mouth like I've hooked like I've said before, you do get a tongue actually, let's see, without the uh, light on. Now you can't see anything, can you now? Dun dun dun. Uh, let me put the brightness up. Is that the brightness I cannot see? <laughs> uh, I can't really record here. But um, basically, um, like I said in, like I will probably, like I definitely will be saying in the review screen. And I'm pretty sure I said it on the table and the table. But uh, yeah, you know, this is very claustrophobic. So, uh, you know, if you don't like um, like a hood over your head, like very tightly and also around your neck and all that such, then yeah, this costume wouldn't be for you. Uh, but yeah, I'm now gonna pop this back in. The, uh, the tail is all the way down there, as you can see, this kind of holy area, that's where the tail is. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it. Now let's take a look at this inflatable Godzilla. First of all, the head is a bit has like a uh, padding layer. It's a uh, very very like um, light padding. It's like a little panel of like um, I I don't know exactly, but it's like a it's kind of a small pad, a small pad that they've added all around the. Godzilla which is meant to be foldable and a bit moldable but I have to admit that packing this away I have to admit that packing this away in and out is a big problem with this costume because basically uh, if the padding stays a certain way for so long and I think maybe a bit of heat as well like you know it gets warm or something I think it just forms the shape and then stays like that for a long 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 time and it's so difficult to get um to to make the shape get back to normal so it's quite difficult because of the head if you don't mind having the head quite crease if you don't mind having the head quite creasy and all that then you know it'll be fine to pack away then i suppose but yeah it's quite difficult to get the head and plus the fact it only really works when your head's inside of it hence i'm struggling to even show you it fully but yes they've made a nice scaly um pattern all, all around the costume it's trust me it's not that bad <laughs> it is quite detailed and plus the fact this is made by rubin which is also the people that have uh, them two great dinosaur inflatable dinosaur costumes i like you know the raptor and the Pterodon, I always forget how to say it. Um, dinosaurs, which I really, really love. <laughs> and just like them costumes, they did a great vinyl design. And this is where the belly is, by the way. They have added the small little tongue on the uh, window netting uh, because yeah, they didn't do like a little glass panel. It's just, it's just, it's just um, black netting. That's all they've done. Which I feel like maybe they should have done. They did a okay job with all the teeth as well. Um, my one, I'm not so sure if other people um, have because, you know, not many people do deep dives of costumes like I do. So it's quite hard to tell, especially if the photo is a little bit low quality or low res, you know. But with mine, I think they made a little mistake here where they've put like two teeth together. Like, you know, they've... Uh, basically thought oh let's put a teeth on top of another teeth like they made a mistake or something i don't know how this has happened but hey 
it's the only bit of the costume that is like that for me <laughs> and this is the hand of the costume um, it does not have any holes at all to have your real hands come through this is totally enclosed um, so you will have to use the you will have to use the inflatable hands now this is the foot um, this is one of the areas I'm a bit disappointed in but at the time of this creation of this inflatable costume there was no inflatable foot designs I will I will give it a bit of leeway so you know basically is a little bit of a sheet with a bit of, you know to, to design toes but yeah but yeah and also that this one is quite big and so it is a trip hazard <laughs> trust me if you're gonna jog or even run in this you might if not careful the foot may go underneath your foot I mean when you lift off you're just gonna trip up on yourself because of the costume so you will have to be careful of that just like any other inflatable costume there's some elastic band for to put your feet through and this one's a little tight not too tight but um, it is a little bit tight around your ankle now we're getting to the last few bits of features I need to talk to you about first of all let's discuss <laughs> about this long 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 tail right here is the tip right <laughs> and oh, I'm not even gonna do it am I in all the way about there yeah, yeah that's where that's where it connects uh, I'm not so sure if you're getting this maybe if I do that <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's, it's like the width of my whole, my both arms, because this tail is so dang long. <laughs> um, yes, if you do like a 360 degrees, you will get tangled in your tail. So you will have to be careful of how, mi how many turns you do before you go a bit straight. Think of it like, um, Think of it like a trailer, I suppose, in a way, like, you know, reverse, of course, when you twist, you know, you're going to have to go maybe a bit forward to recorrect the trailer and then turn the other way to fix it. It's kind of like that, but not exactly. <laughs> it's the closest thing I can think of to um, a simple um, example for all of you to, of course, understand of exactly how a bit difficult the tail will get tangled, depending on how many times you've turned without going straight without, you know, course straightening out the tail of course you can of course you can do what I sometimes do I don't do it all the time but is it does does a little bit help which is use the back of your feet um, and then kick the tail behind you and it kind of helps to a little bit straighten it out but yeah you will have to probably do that quite a bit if you like to stop doing that kind of stuff you know tripping up your own tail <laughs> And now the last feature I must talk about, which I still don't know what it, I still don't know why it has this, and I don't know if newer model, you know, newer Godzilla costume made ones have this. Um, but oddly enough, there's just this weird one out of place Velcro strip. Like, huh? <laughs> Uh, there is no other velcro nearby There is no other velcro nearby. It's just it's just there. I, I Don't I don't understand why it's there <laughs> Or what's its purpose? It's just they've just added like this one little velcro bit here and like I said I have no clue what it could be um, like what what they were going for with this like did they have um were they like thinking to shut the zip shut with like two velcros to like hide the zip or something is is that what they were trying to go for because because yeah I, I i don't know i just have this little square velcro strip just here just not being used because it's like there's no other bits of velcro you can add to it so uh, honestly I don't know I might ha I might look into this maybe after this I probably will try to maybe do one more try to look into this um, for this costume review I'll probably do a bit of research after this whole recording's done 
but um, I got a feeling I will probably still never understand and I can still can never tell you exactly why it's just just one bit of velcro just randomly there right I have done the research and I have basically found a review which I guess was posted somewhere between when I stopped searching for the information of what the purpose of the velcro was um, to like you know present day which is 2023 and this review states the tail has a piece of velcro that holds the tail up onto the body so that it is out of the way um, okay so I guess that is the purpose of the velcro my costume doesn't seem to have any velcro on the tail I even rechecked knowing you know like I was like okay I've got some information I'll go check my own costume and sure enough my one does not have any velcro on the tail I looked all over no velcro at all anywhere on it so what I might do is I might add the velcro just to test what it looks like and put it on camera because no footage is this as I'm aware of of this Godzilla costume with the tail using the velcro strip on the body so I might try to do that just to see what it exactly looks like just for like a archive and history purpose of you know like hey this is what this was meant to do and this is what it looked like. It is now time to look at the pros and cons of this Godzilla. The pros. Its design is quite true to the movie it's based off what is the 2004 Godzilla you know the one before the Shin Godzilla and so on. This costume also does give you a good sense and vibe that you are a kaiju monster while wearing it, which is of course good because that's what it was meant to be going for of course. That is all the big pros that you can do with this costume because now it's time for the cons sadly. The cons of this, the tongue will hinder your visibility in the costume because it's like right almost where your eyes would be. The elastic neck to put your head into is small and quite tight around your neck so basically claustrophobic um, while you're in this chamber as well could be a factor I wouldn't recommend getting definitely getting this costume because of that because like I said it's tight and especially if you've got a more bit of a big um, chunky head I'm trying to be nice <laughs> right if you've got more of a chunky head then yeah you're really not gonna get your head into the Godzilla at all it, it's gonna be a struggle and maybe even the pain so yeah smaller heads are great for this costume but yeah any bigger you're probably gonna struggle sorry about that the zip placement is quite poor because if you zip it up yourself with no help the inflatable fan can drag the zip down causing the zip to kind of unzip itself a bit if you let the weight of the inflatable fan pull down on the costume when trying to zip it up of course when you're like halfway zipped up it will it, it will not really go down anymore if you let go of the uh, fan but yeah it does cause a problem trying to get in the suit yourself the feet sheets can be quite a trip hazard if you jog or run in this and also the long tail again can be a trip hazard as well but not as much as the feet um, especially if you've got smaller feet and plus the fact it's only when you turn around is when the tail can become a trip hazard to you the head also has a problem keeping it shape over time by you know folding it over and over because over time it will no longer stay in shape or even in a great shape where it's like oh now it looks ugly where it's like got a weird eye you know it's a bit like what you've seen in this footage that's kind of what it goes trust me it looks much more better when you get it brand new but yeah <laughs> over time that shape really really gets destroyed now if I reviewed this when it launched um, I likely would have given it like a 7 out of 10 because back then uh, this was near this was near to the best inflatable costume you could buy but of course today it hasn't aged very well and because there's also so many problems and you know costume designers have already worked out different things and you know different techniques to make basically make these inflatable costumes so much more better um, for today for today's time I have to give it a 4 out of 10 that is the score I have to give this 
like I said, I would have given this a 7 when it launched, but nowadays there's so many better inflatable costumes out there that have so much more better design and quality behind them that uh, this costume really hasn't aged um, through the years anymore. We have now finished the review of the inflatable Godzilla by Rubin. Uh, actually, yeah, there it is. This logo. I was about, I was about to say, oh wait, I think it's on the cardboard somewhere. <laughs> but yes, by Ruben. Actually, I could tell you the numbers because this is a Ruben one. It is eight eight zero eight five six. That is the Ruben um, item number code that they've given this one. But yeah, but yeah, I do, I do kind of wish that Ruben would make like a like a nostalgia inflatable Godzilla design like you know like can you redesign all this and maybe you know re reuse what you've made here into like an old year type Godzilla because trust me uh, I know that there will be Godzilla fans a bit like me who will definitely buy into that basically yeah not everyone will like this design some people like the old designs and I know I kind of do I like the um if I remember rightly, the second Godzilla redesign that, you know, ever happened, you know, the second Godzilla ever. I really like that rubber suit kind of face, and I even got a uh, mask of it as well somewhere. <laughs> I've uh, stored it away now. But yeah, but yes, hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to join my Discord server. Um, we also do have a costume channel in my Discord server, so hey, if you want to maybe show your own costumes that you've either made yourself or even show yourself wearing costumes like maybe in um, when you go Halloween well you can and of course if you want to see me play games you have to go to my twitch.tv slash fluffytrops1 for that but yeah that is the end of this video like I said I hope you have enjoyed it I do try to put as much effort as I can <laughs> you know it's like I, I, I do try to like, do things as a time when we're recording I will admit um, I'm still dealing with paperwork and um, basically funeral plans um, if you don't know then well you probably will get a gist of what's going on with my what's, what's, what's going on with my life right now but um, we're, we're getting there. But um, yeah, I'm still trying to fit time for my YouTube channel because it's basically what I like to do. I'm passionate about it and I really want it to grow. Anyways, enough rambling on. Hope to see you in whatever video that may be. And goodbye.